Okay, let's start with 2.2. I do still have load shedding, but we're going to persevere nonetheless. So it says the IM and CM, right? So that's the internal moderator and the chief moderator, right, from 2.1. We're allocated tables with semicircular shaped tabletops as shown in the picture below. It's a little bit crusty to see, but I think like your actual papers will be printed a bit better than mine, right? Lumka, the center manager, explained that two semicircular tabletops are made from one square. That's important. What does a square mean? Equal sides, piece of wood, okay? The information on how the semicircular tops are cut from the square piece of wood are in an annex to B. So make sure you go find that now at this juncture, okay? So there's 2.2. There's the table. And you have the two semicircles which are cut into this piece of square wood, right? And it gives you all these sort of things. Now, you could be saying, this is a bit confusing. They haven't given us the diameter. We're going to figure out all those things. Don't stress. You don't need to understand everything up front. Let's go to the next piece of information. It says, you may use the following formula. So it gives us area of a square, which you should know. Area of a semicircle. And then volume of a rectangular prism is length times width times height. It doesn't mean you have to use all of them, but it's there in case you want to use one of one of them as part of your um, solving of the problem posed. So we're gonna use annex to B, right, which I have here next to me, you should have with you as well. And it says, solve the following questions, or answer the following questions. So it says, Lumka stated that 2,01 meters squared of the wood is cut off when making two semicircular shaped tabletops from one piece of wood. So she's basically saying the wood that is not used for the tabletops, the wastage is 2,01 meters squared. Okay, so meters squared indicates area. So then it says verify showing calculations whether Lumka statement is valid, right? So we basically have to do a calculation, say if they make these two tabletops from this piece of wood, how much wood is going to be not with those tabletops? So basically cut off. And is it this much? And if it is this much, that's great. And if it isn't, we must say, Lumka, sorry, you're wrong. Okay, but we have to do those calculations. So let's go and do those calculations. So first of all, always label your question. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to work out, right, the volume of, not the volume, sorry, the area of the each of these semicircles, the area of the full square, and we're going to subtract the area of semicircles from the full square. So let's start with a square. That's easy enough. So area of the square, right? Um, equal side times side. Side times side in this case is 2,7 times 2,7. You should be able to do that in your head. But if you aren't, I think it is 8.1. Let's just check whether I'm right. Yo. I am very wrong and that's fine, <laughs> right? That's why we have calculators and that's meters squared. Okay, now let's go find out what our area of our semicircles are going to be. Okay, so area of a semicircular top. Okay, now what's important in the semicircular top is you can't just work out the area of a semicircle because it's not a full semicircle. It's a small semicircle cut out of a large semicircle. So we have to calculate the area of the large semicircle and then take out the area here of the small semicircle because you can't account for area that's not there. So that's why this question is out of so many marks because that's where students fall short. So let's start by working out the area of the large semicircle. And you could be saying, well, Mark, that's all good and well, but I don't know what the diameter is. I don't know what the radius is. Well, it says here that this width is 0, 0,8. And it's the same the whole way around. So that's going to be 0, 0,8. And that's going to be 0, 0,8. So what is the diameter of this going to be? Right? And you, have to, you can write this information underneath. The diameter of a large semicircle is going to be 1 plus 0, 0,8 plus 0, 0,8, which is 2.6. Right? The diameter of the small semicircle, right? So that's a semicircle that's cut out, is one meter, okay? So there's a small semicircle and there's a large semicircle. So we're gonna work out the area of the big semicircle and subtract from it the area of the small semicircle. And then we would have found the area of one half, well, one semicircular top, which is half of the amount of top tabletops we can get from this 
one piece of wood. So then we have to times that area by two to get the two pieces. So we kind of have like a strategy. So let's go and work this out. Okay. So you could be saying, oh, I don't know how to find the area of a semicircle. Well, not a problem. We have it over here, right? So it is 3.142 times radius squared what is the radius of the large circle right well the radius is half of the diameter so it's 1.3 what is the radius for the small semicircle it is 0 0.5 so when i've said your area of the semicircle right here i'm saying the large semicircle okay it's so just so that we see that so i'm saying 1.3 all squared right this is sort of like an interlude just to see where we've got this from and this here, this answer is going to equal this. Maybe set your answers up a little bit better than mine, right? Mine's a little bit messy, but I wanted to make sure that you understood where I was coming from. Right, 1.3 all squared over 2. So that is going to be 2.65499. And then we're going to say area of semi circle but this case in this case it's the small one right same formula so 3.142 times radius squared what's the radius squared over here 0 comma 5 all squared over 2 so be careful there put that into your calculator you can use the same formula you did before just quickly change it out like that and your answer here is 0 0.39275 Remember, you can store these if you want to, but you don't have to. I've forgotten to do it here, so I'm going to have to type them out again, right? But generally, most people don't struggle for time in this exam. If you do, consider storing um, as something you should do. Okay, so now the area of the tabletop. So area of the top would be the 2.65499 four subtract from it the area of this small semicircle, which is 2.26224. Just a note here on rounding. Don't round off until you've finished, right? If you round off in your workings, you can you run the danger of, of rounding off and then your answer being quite significantly different to what it should be. So only round off at the end. So that's the area of one. So what would be the area of two tops? Right, you say 2.26224 times by 2. So times it by 2, and that'd be 4.52448. Okay, so that's that. That, so this is the area of the square. This is the area of the two tabletops that are cut out of a square, as seen in Annex to B, right? So we've worked out the area of those two tabletops, and we've worked out the area of the full square. Now we're going to find the difference. So we say 7.29 minus 4.52448. And that tells me how much of my wood is left over. Okay, after I've cut out my two tabletops. And what's left over is this much. And you can round it off at this stage if you want to. Right, that's what's left over. So please note that everything that we've written here, and I have not been good about putting my units in, but everything we've written here is area, okay? So this is the area of the wood that's left over. Now, you should see that that is larger than the 2.01 meters squared that Lumka had said in the question that she thought was cut off, right? Do you see here? So Lumka's wrong, right? And we have to say that. We say, therefore, Lumka's statement is false. Or invalid and then you're done please remember this is eight marks there's a lot of working out here you have to write a conclusion even if all of your working out is absolute perfection if you don't put a, a conclusion you will lose a mark okay let's go on to our last question of question two also quite a big question but let's make sure we understanding so it says the wood used is sold for 1,215 per rand per cubic meter. Cubic indicates what, guys? Volume. Good. Not um, area. Excluding VAT at 15%. Calculate the total, class, the total cost, including VAT. What is VAT? You need to know this percentage. 15%. So we're going to have to work out the cost and then add VAT of the wood to make 12 semicircular tabletops. Okay, so there's 12. So how many um, squares am I going to need? I'm going to need six squares, 
right? Because remember, each square has two tabletops on it, as we can see here in the annex chart. So be careful there to make sure that you understand that. So let's go and do that, right? So let's see here. If I had six squares, Right, I need six squares. I'm going to work out the volume because that's how it's charged. We see the volume and it says over here is length times width times height. Okay. We know that it's a square. So it's width and length are the same. Um, well, it's, it's uh, length and height are the same. And what is its thickness or the width? 38 millimeters. Now you could be saying, oh dear, that's in millimeters. It's not in meters. Yes. And you'd be right. We need to convert that to meters. So let's do that first. Okay, I'm going to do it over here. Um, we have 38 millimeters. Now, say 38 divided by 10 gives me centimeters, right? Because there's 10 millimeters in a centimeter. You then divide your answer by 100 because there are 100 centimeters in a meter. And your answer here is the thickness of that board is 0, 0,038 meters. Now we have everything we need, right? So we're going to say 2.7, that's its length, times 2.7, that's its height, times 0, 0,38, which is its width. Okay. Put that into your calculator. I think what a lot of students would have done here, which you have to be careful of, is they would have just said, oh, okay, I'm just going to use my answer from the previous question and just do it with regard to area. But it's not with regard to area. It's with regard to... Volume. And please remember volumes to the power of 3. Okay. So we've got the volume there. But now we need for 6 squares. Right? So 6 squares is going to be 6 times that amount. Okay. Times your answer by 6. And you're going to get 1.66212 meters cubed. That's how we, what we need. Now we're going to say... Okay, well, we, said it, we saw in our question that each cubic meter is 1, 2, 1, 5, right? That's the cost per cubic meter. So I got my cubic meters, and I'm going to times that now by my cost of 1, 2, 1, 5. Put that in your calculator. And my cost there is going to be 2019.4758. Now, you could be saying, Margie, you should be rounding off there. It's a currency but I'm not done yet. I have to still add VAT, right? Remember, it says there, inclusive of VAT. So remember all these parts you have to account for. So I'm going to say this. And if you want to account for VAT, you just say times 1.15. Okay, so when you're adding VAT, you times by 1.15. When you're stripping VAT out, you divide by 1.15. That 15%, remember, you have to know. Okay, so now what you do, I times it by 1.15, right? And my answer there is going to be, um, so just write it nicely, times by 1.15, it's going to be 2322.40, right? Why did I make it 40? Because we had 397, 7 is greater than 5, so I round it up to 40. Okay, so when it's two decimal places, you look at the third decimal to figure out your rounding. That's your final answer. You've just got yourself... Um, seven marks and we are just past the halfway mark of our paper and we'll continue with the next question question three in the next video